So yesterday I posted a video for Halloween and I told you guys I was going to post a 30 day kind of mini series about things I'm thankful for and I'm even going to continue it to two days after uh, Thanksgiving. So, um, and I think I came up with a title for the series, I'm thinking I'm going to call it um, Grateful, Thankful, Blessed. And it's going to have 30 parts to it. They're not going to be very long videos, but... Each day I'm going to tell you one thing that I'm thankful for. Um, sometimes it might be unconventional or kind of seems kind of silly or stupid uh, thing to be thankful for. But um, today I don't think it's a really, I think it's a pretty good thing to be thankful for. Um, the thing, the first thing I'm thankful for this year is my hardworking husband. My husband James has a few health problems. I mean, he's not seriously ill or anything, um, but in August he was hospitalized for pulmonary edema and he had low iron. They don't really, they still don't know, really know what's causing the low iron. Um, he's gonna go see a hematologist sometime soon. He's gonna call the office Monday. Um, but um, anyway, he was in the hospital, and then right after, a few weeks after he got out of the hospital, he was able to return to work. And I know he's in a lot of pain because he also has open wounds on his leg. He's always he's in a lot of pain all the time, but he still works so hard to support our family. He works eight hours each day at Wendy's. And I'm so grateful for him, and I love him so much. He does so much for our family. He doesn't complain. And I thank God for him every day. And I just love him so much, and I can't say enough about him. How much I love him, I don't know how to put into words. But Jamesy, if you're watching, I hope that you know how much I love you. And... I went to Walgreens today, and I'm going to show you two things I found, and they're very cute. And I'm also thankful for these, but they're not the main focus of my video. Okay, so I'm. this is a new brand to me. I'm not familiar with this brand. It's called Three Cheers for Girls. I didn't notice it said that until I got into checkout at Walgreens. And look how cute. It has four lip balms. It has a shopping cart. Of course, it says... Um, trolley. I'm wondering if this is from the United Kingdom originally because it says trolley and I know that's what they call the um, shopping carts there. Does this say where it's made? Hmm. Yeah, you United Ki Manchester, United Kingdom. Alright. My husband loves to watch the um, Manchester United, I think is what it's called. It's uh, the football, which is their version of soccer. Okay, and we have a watermelon. Looks like a slushy, And it looks like... Looks like strawberry yogurt or ice cream or something. And then we have milk and it's vanilla flavored. And a beautiful purple shopping cart to stores I'm in. A few years ago, actually I think it was this last year, might have been year before, at Walgreens for Christmas. They did have a little shopping cart decoration. It was so cute, but I wasn't able to buy it, unfortunately. It sold out before I could get it, but um, yeah. I saw these a few weeks ago, and I, I saw them in Amazon first. And I was going to plan to buy them. I put them in my shopping cart on Amazon. And then I saw them at Walgreens the other day. And I'm like, oh my gosh, those are so, those are the same ones on Amazon. They're so cute and I want them so badly. So this is from, they have these at Walgreens. It was $12.99. And yeah, kind of makes me want to go to the store and buy those products. Although I don't really know a store that sells ices like that or slushies or whatever you call them other than Target. Well, I don't know if Target still sells them. I haven't really been to Target in a long time. I used to shop at Target like at once a week fairly regularly anyway. But I went it's about two weeks ago and that was the first time I'd been for several years. 
Oh, and the shopping cart really rolls according to this. All right, and the next thing I'm going to show you is a throwback from my childhood. I was obsessed with these when I was a kid. I had every single one of them, and they brought them back recently. And I have the other three, I, I guess, uh, I, I don't know if they just released the original four, but I have a few. I, I have to show you my Bratz babies, Yasmin. I always loved Bratz when I was a kid. Um, Especially like when I was seven, eight, nine years old, I was obsessed with them. I loved the babies the most. I had all the one, not so much the ones with like the hair, like they're well, obviously it wasn't really real hair, but that kind of hair you could brush. I didn't have so many of those, but I had all these with the harder hair that you can't brush. This is Yasmin. I have Chloe, Chloe, Jade, and Sasha. And they, back in the day, they had so many others. I had, I think, pretty much every version like this. And they might have re-released those as well. I'm not really sure. Um, it looks pretty much like the original. The only thing is, the originals, they came with, like, a little purse or diaper bag. And this one does not. But it comes with the blanket and the pet. She has a frog. And... I love her. I can't wait to open her up. And I'm thankful for these two things as well. Um, yeah, I got the other the, the other three the other, a few months ago, like in June or something. Walgreens had these, had these stocked. They don't stock very many of these at a time. Um, I'm not really a toy collector by any means, but if I see something that I like or that's nostalgic for me... I'll buy them, and I figure maybe when I have kids, when they're old enough to play with them, the whatever the toy is, they can. I'm definitely going to, to let them play with them. But um, the other three I got back in June, which were Chloe, Jade, and Sasha, and I I was hoping they would eventually have Yasmin, and they did, and she was the only one they had, so it was like it was meant for me. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video of me gushing over my husband and then showing you the cute things I bought at Walgreens. Um, I hope you'll tune back in tomorrow with my next thing I'm thankful for. And um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great night.